awkward, but I have to bend down. Otherwise, I'm gonna be too tall for the camera yet again. Hey guys, it's Jen. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jen. <laughs> That's not even funny. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back to my channel, it's... <laughs> Get yourself together, girl. Get yourself together. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back to my channel, and today's video is so, so, so exciting because it is my official Jen's Crazy Life's official dorm tour. I'm currently a sophomore at Michigan State University. I want to say from like middle school on, I would watch dorm tours all the time and be so excited for the day I had my own dorm. Like genuinely, that is one of the most fun things in my mind about the college experience. I just wanted to live in the dorms. I wanted to decorate it and I wanted it to be perfect. Like it had to be perfect. I probably watched hundreds of dorm tours. Is that a little embarrassing? Probably. But you know what? Psh so without any further ado, let's show you my dorm room! <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Someone's coming. Somebody definitely just saw that. <laughs> so you're currently outside my door. We're going to enter. So this is the entryway. We have the dresser. Then we have our closets. And then this is from the other side. This is much easier to show. But that's about how big the dorm like entry space is. First and foremost, on the left hand side, we have our dresser. But this is the top of the dresser. Rachel just has her stuff over here. We of course have hand sanitizer her little letter board, and then this is my little makeup section. And then I brought this cute little sign that says, welcome to our home. I just thought it was cute because it is our home. <laughs> this is our dresser. Rachel got here first, so she took the first three drawers, and then I have the ones on the bottom. I guess I'll show you guys my top drawer. We have a few skirts and shorts in here since it is getting a little bit warmer. Um, and then we have some jeans under there. This is kind of like my sweat sets on the right hand side. Then we have like some leggings and um, little tank tops. This is more of like lounge wear. And then the next drawer is probably the most exciting drawer. This is just where I like to keep all of my green and white Michigan State clothes. So we just got t-shirts, skirts, and like my little overalls and like MSU sweats and stuff. So that's my little spirit drawer. After the dresser, we're gonna turn this way and this is our closet. As you can probably tell, my side is behind the door and Rachel's side is over here. Up top over here, there's not really much to show in here. This is kind of where I keep my extras like cleaning products, laundry detergent, paper towel, extra hangers, bags, all that kind of stuff. And then we have this shelf and I really like that I went and bought these organization bins. But the pink ones on the left, we have extra makeup in here for when I run out. And the back bin, we just have all of our first aid stuff like medicine, all that just in case. This bin, I like to keep my hair dryer, my sunscreen, hair products, nail stuff, dish soap, pretty much everything. So then this bin right here, we mainly have reusable like tote bags and baseball hats because I'm a big baseball hat girl, especially when I don't want to be seen. And then we just have my MSU umbrella. So then we have the closet section. We have two hooks over here. I only really use one of them, but I have my backpack on one of them. And then behind that is my laundry bag. Kind of behind my backpack, we just have my shoe organizer. And then we have my clothes, color coordinated. There used to be cuter things in here, but you know, it's the end of the year. Nothing super cute, cold weather. But then we just have my three bin organization bin I keep like socks pajamas all that kind of stuff then we also have this little bin that I used to use for my bathroom stuff but now I just use for like extra soaps and like extra bathroom products and nail polish and stuff and we also keep our little mini vacuum in there and we just have Rachel's closet I'm not gonna go super in depth about that um, but this is kind of how she organizes her things then they do also give us a garbage like Pretty much a garbage. <laughs> so then we have our bathroom. To the left of the bathroom door, I put this cute little sign. And then we have our full length mirror. Rachel brought this, super helpful. We just put it on top there. And um, it's nice, you know, I feel like it's just a necessity. So then we're gonna enter our bathroom, which we share with our suite mates. There are four towel racks, which is super helpful. 
As you can tell, this one is mine. This is our shower. It's very dark in here. It's kind of a struggle, but it works. So then this is this side of the bathroom. We have two little medicine cabinets and here's an example of what you can do with them. We also have this little shelf. So we can just put like cleaning products and stuff like that on there. And then we have our sink, which is very much a struggle when you wanna wash dishes, but you know, like I said, it works. And then we got the toilet and some little products and we did bring all of this stuff. So then from the entryway, we're going to enter the dorm. On the right hand side, as you guys saw, is my side of the dorm. I think it's super cute. So I guess we'll just start with the bedding. My bedding, I think I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I ended up ordering a, I wanna say full queen size and I think it works pretty well. I wanted it to be a little bit longer, so that's why. And then I have these pillows. They're switched out pretty often for the holidays, but for the most part, those are like the cute ones that are out right now. And then in the back, I hide this little, I don't know what these are called, but it's one of the pillows where you can sit up. I think it's super helpful. Actually, I think it's a necessity because as you can see, there's a pretty big like gap between the wall and the bed. So that kind of prevents both me and all my stuff from falling. We have Walt Disney Sleeping Beauty poster because I love Disney and I'm also gonna be on the Disney College program in a few weeks. And it's kind of perfect because it's right by my bed and it's Sleeping Beauty, so, you know. <laughs> then we have this sign, it's super cute. And then we have this little hanging fake flower plant that I got from Target, I love it so much. Right next to my bed, I have my little nightstand and this was a very last minute purchase, but it is so worth it. I just have a little coaster on there. It just says, be the good. Up on top, I just put these little rose garlands all around the ceiling and I think it's super cute. See, all around. I only go so far because I didn't order a ton of them, but it makes it for the most part. Right here to cover up some space, I have this cute collage wall. I think it's the peach set and I got it from Amazon. I saw it on TikTok. It gives very much beachy and peachy. <laughs> Sorry. It's beachy and it's peachy, you know? Now that you have seen my bed and my little nightstand, we're gonna move on to below my bed. I just have a little ottoman thing and I don't really have that much in it. Pretty much just my purse and my hammock. But honestly, I think that is something you also really need for school in a dorm room, especially because if your bed's higher up like mine, you're gonna need it to get on your bed. And then we also use the ottoman like a ton to access these two drawers because they're kind of high up. And then we have below my bed, I bought this bed skirt and I thought it would be super helpful to kind of hide everything under my bed. It just doesn't cover the full bed, which is fine because I have my mini fridge right there, which we will get to. So this is my little fort underneath my bed. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought I was a genius for thinking of doing this. <laughs> I just added a cute little pink rug. We have blankets, pillows. That's like my camera stuff and some cups and all that. And then we also put some Christmas lights under here to add to the vibe and it is very nice. So then to the right of my fort, we have my pantry, if you will. <laughs> On top, we just have a loaf of bread, super fun. <laughs> and we have this bin. And this bin pretty much just has all of my towels, you know, for the bathroom and showering and all that fun stuff. And then we have three drawers. The first drawer, we just have, you know, utensils, reusable bags, plates, cups, bowls, all the things you need. And then the middle drawer, can you tell I like pancakes? <laughs> we have all of these little cereals that I got from Sparty's with my meal plan. Um, so if you're watching this and you're going to MSU, don't go and buy a bunch of little cereals because you get a ton here. Like seriously, don't buy cereal. If you get the cinnamon toast crunch bagels at Sparty's and dip them in peanut butter, it's honestly the best discovery I've ever made. We have syrup and we have pancake to goes also from Sparty's. And we have mac and cheese, which is also from Sparty's. Do not buy groceries when you want to live in a dorm. At least at MSU. Just, just, just don't do it. So then in the bottom drawer, this is kind of like my junk drawer in a sense. It is like my snacks and candy and all that. Okay, so then on the right hand side underneath my bed, we have my mini fridge, which is nice because Rachel has her own. Peep my cute little magnet I got from Florida. My soon to be home. So then next to my bed, we have my desk. We just have this little world map I got from Amazon because I want to travel the world so it reminds me of my goals in life. Here's my desk decor. We have my laptop. We have this cute little clock. We have a little Eiffel Tower, some flowers. We have a sign that says here sits the queen because 
duh. <laughs> and then we have my little lamp and my little daisy plush and my cup. So yeah, that's pretty much my desk. We also have a couple little trash bins that I brought myself. Then I guess we'll show you guys the drawers because why not? Okay, so first we have the drawer up here. There's not a ton in here at the moment. We just have my headphones, charger cords, my iPad, brush, all that kind of stuff. And then the top drawer over here. I pretty much just like to keep some of my jewelry, you know, headbands, hair ties. Then the second drawer. This is kind of where I keep, you know, my planner, my Disney college program, like notebook, to-do list, pens, all that kind of stuff, books. I got these little organization bins from Target. I think they're perfect. You can kind of already see what we have in here. We have lots of tape, post-it notes, highlighters. Then here's the last drawer. This is honestly kind of miscellaneous. I have stuff for my letter board, a whiteboard for studying. I have a mallet <laughs> because you kind of need them for raising beds and stuff. So then we have my window. Up top here, I just put this little clapper because I am a film major, so I think it's pretty fitting, you know. And then I put these little Christmas lights all around the window around Christmas time, and we haven't taken them down because it's very cozy at night. These little butterfly strands on the side are from Five Below. I think they're super cute. And then this is what I have on my windowsill at the moment. It's always changing. So yeah, this is pretty much my side of the room. Very proud of it, and I love it so much, and I'm sad to see it go. Then on Rachel's side, she has a little panda bear up there. Little shout out to Ryan here. <laughs> and this is her desk. I'm not gonna go super in depth for it because she's not here to do that herself. So then this is Rachel's side of the room. This is her bed. She has these little big little petals or something for sorority. I'm not in one, so I wouldn't know. Then we have this little tapestry and that's of her like hometown in California. Here we have our little chair with a pillow. Got a little newspaper thing from one of the basketball games. And we have our Brita, which we honestly don't really use that much. We just use the water from Sparty's or the filter downstairs because honestly, um, well water, MSU has well water. It's, it's, mm, I just, I just don't trust it. <laughs> and then we have our microwave and she has her mini fridge. And then we also have our little box fan here, which is super helpful. We have two fans and one broke, but you're definitely going to need as many fans as you can possibly get, especially when there's no air conditioning. And then we also have two rugs. <laughs> I know it's a little extra. It, lo it looks a little interesting, but Rachel came with this rug and then I found this one and I thought it was super cozy. And so we kind of just made both of them work. But yeah, here's a little final overview of the dorm. Take it all in. <laughs> Cause it's Jen's crazy dorm. <laughs> so that was all for my dorm tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I personally am obsessed with the way my dorm turned out and I'm kind of sad to leave it behind. I'm excited. I'm ready for my next adventure, but at the same time, I'm gonna miss it a little bit. And it's gonna be really sad taking all my decor down because like I said, this has been something I've dreamed of for many years. So closing that chapter of my life, little sad but yeah that is all for my dorm tour if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I would honestly love to answer them whether it's where something is from or any advice or you know really anything I would love to help you guys out because I wanted as much information as I possibly could get before I lived in a dorm I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you all so much and I will hopefully 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 see you guys in my next video Bye!